Alright, welcome to this review. Uh, it's for the Gothic Ruins set that has been released by GameMat.eu. Uh, they've produced some terrain now, uh, some resin terrain, uh, for you to use on their battle mats or just in your regular games of uh, 40k. So in this video, uh, I haven't even unboxed it yet, so just going to open it up, see what you get. Uh, I've got the whole set here, so you'll see how much you get and that'll give you an idea of what the terrain uh, looks like as well. So I'm just going to unbox this one as it comes. As I said, um, uh, it's from GameMat.eu. Uh, they're based in Europe. Uh, they produce the battle mats here. I'm just using one of the mats here as a base uh, for this video. Um, but they have produced uh, resin terrain now. Uh, Gothic Ruins is the set that we have here. Um, and it's for you to use in your games of 40k. So one of the boxes here, it comes in a big, big box. Uh, it is a big purchase in the UK it's £105 and then your, your postage and packaging on top of that uh, but it's sort of a whole terrain set that you then use to put um, on your 6x4 table so it's a lot of terrain um, so I've got these here that came in with the set just looks like some spare doors and archways there's one there I don't know how many of these are there's four here in this first box that I've opened Take them out of their packaging here. So these, this has been, it's been hand sculpted, uh, the original, um, and then they've cast it in resin, cleaned and strained it off, and then it has it does come painted as well. So it's been uh, highlighted in grey and white there. So your options for you, uh, you can just take it out of the box and use it straight away if you're not too fussed, if you're happy with that. Um, you could, I'm just looking at the potential, you could give it a further highlight to, to lighten it up a little bit if you wish. I can imagine you can add some um, inks and washes to it to weather it down. A bit of uh, brown washes here, some staining on it might look quite good. Um, if you want to, you don't have to, it depends on how much uh, work you want to do. I've got a sort of an idea of what I want to do with this terrain, um, but we'll come to that a bit later on. I've got sort of an idea of thing I'd like to use it for. So this box is one of the first sets of the ruins. So this is a corner piece, just move these out of the way. So resin is very sturdy and strong. And this is one of the corner parts here, but uh, looking pretty good. Now, it's not the best I've seen, you know, the Games Workshop stuff's the best you can get, um, but they put it together pretty good. It does look pretty impressive, and you know it comes painted as well. Um, if you're happy with it to that stand, you know it's tabletop sort of stand, um, so I mean that can help you out. If you're looking to save some time, and they've already done that for you. There's not much terrain around that actually comes pre-painted for you. The walls are thick, so it's got that real gothic sort of theme to it. I mean even. Because there's no futuristic stuff on this, you could use this for, I'll tell you what, a good system you could use this for, and that's games of Lord of the Rings. I think this would suit that very, very well indeed. So yeah, Lord of the Rings would suit this very well, any medieval kind of stuff, 28mm, you get away with that, no problem at all. But 40k, definitely, uh, would suit sort of imperial sort of cities, uh, you can imagine the Sisters of Battle, Grey Knights and so on fighting, or Space Marines fighting around this kind of terrain. So it suits very well. But uh, a nice uh, shelf here is where I can see for your models to go on. They don't fall off, so they've, they've bared that in mind there as they've sculpted that. Second level here, probably just about the right height, and then a lower level. It's a nice height here. It's quite a tall piece, that one. That's just the first one. Yeah. Another one here. This might be an identical piece. You know, no, it's moulded or cast. Two of the same, I think it is. Yeah, okay. That's just the bottom there, nice and flat, and they've actually put some little anti slip bits on there as well, just to stop it from moving around. But uh, yeah, those two are identical, so you get two of them uh, for starters. That's the first box, it's only about a quarter of the order here. So I'm going to open up another one. As I said, I haven't hooked inside these, so let's see what we get. Again, it's like transport wise and packaging, very good. Ok, 
Okay, two more corner pieces here, smaller ones. I'm guessing they're going to be the two. They'll be identical for the same mould. Do it again. Yeah, a different building this one. As I can see from the design of it, it's a different one uh, to that one over there. But uh, not too bad. Not too bad. Yeah, pretty good. So there's that one. And then a second one, the same. But well packaged. Um, so the polystyrene here all uh, cut to fit. It's handy to put away again, uh, and I imagine it will transport very well. You know, they've got to ship it across uh, Europe and across the world, so they've thought about the packaging and they've done a good job uh, with that. So that's that second box. Yeah, third box here. I've just looked inside the big box. There's another one box after this. So. So right, there's four inside here. These will be your lower ones. One just there. Nice corner piece. It's a nice thickness to these, they are nice and sturdy. One there. So I think these are the same as well by the looks of it. Okay, onto the last one here. It's actually the biggest box. Let's see what we got. Oh, I think this is a, a very big one. Right, so here's the one from the fourth box. It is just one large room here. So it's very, it's very big. Very big. So that's your sort of focal point. There, it's nicely done, it is nice, nice uh, sort of cloister tower type thing at the end here. And a nice wide space there, and then you get these inside. I think I just figured out what they are. So, if you want to block out the windows, then these are actually been designed, if I can get this right, to fit in from behind and fill in the gap like so. So, if you want a solid wall, you want to block off line of sight. Um, then you can do that. You get three of them at that size, three of those, and then I'm then guessing that these ones should fit in one of these windows as well. From behind, yeah. So you see that? You can use it to block out uh, whole sides, which is handy because it can be annoying when you can see all the way through the buildings. It's nice to have a solid wall sometimes. So I could easily glue that in and fill that out and that's blocked off and made a solid wall. It actually looks quite impressive like that. So it looks good on camera. Um, so my verdict on this would be um, it's okay. Uh, it's not as good as Games Workshop stuff, I would say that. But having said that, it's nice enough. And a gothic ruin set, can imagine, as I said, can suit a number of gaming systems. Um, and then it is an easy way to get terrain sorted out very quickly. You know, you buy a set from Games Workshop, it's all in plastic, and you have to spend ages putting it together, and you've got to paint it and so on. If you want a quick fix, um, then buying resin terrain, I mean, it's already cast, the details are all done for you, it's constructed for you, and then they even painted it for you uh, as well. So you could buy it, get it out of the box, and then play the game straight away. So that is the massive advantage with it. Um, it is nicely sculpted, you know, the detail runs throughout, when you stand back and look at these, they're pretty atmospheric, look pretty good. Uh, I'm sort of thinking of maybe, and this is an option you can go for, I might give these a respray. I think these would go quite well on my desert terrain, because I've got sort of city fight stuff already, so maybe just to change things around, go for desert terrain, so sort of a sandstone yellow kind not yellow, but sandstone, stone kind of effect. Um, and then sort of a sandy colour, and they're all highlighted, and then some flock and some scrub and some bushes on there, and some effects. And I can 
PVA, put some glue and some more rubble just to fill that out. And I think that would look pretty good. And I do it like a kind of a, a city that's um, like an ancient city and the sand and dunes and so on of uh, the civilization is long since gone. Uh, and then uh, the sand and so on uh, has washed over the top. So that kind of effect, I think, I would go for, for that. But I would think about it. But there it is, that's the set. Um, now, nice focal point of this one, which is very good. And then you've got the others that you can build up and start to make your streets. But you can see here, look, quite deep here. It's nice that imagine your tanks and you know, your rhinos and Lehman Russes driving up through the gaps there. It's looking pretty good. Right, so what I've done here is just put out one of the GameMat.eu mats here. Uh, Mayhem Square, I think it's called. Just one of the city fight mats. Then put out the terrain uh, so you can get an idea of how much it fills up the table. See the nice height there to that ruin, the big one? So I'll put that in the centre as a feature. And then you just mix them up. Got all the smaller ones here, medium one, larger one. Uh, and that sort of masks the duplicates uh, that are in the set quite well. Uh, there's another one here. And then sort of left the square empty. You can imagine you put your ammo crates and so on there. And then over here, more uh, ruins as well. So you can see, I think there's just enough there. Uh, to put a nice amount of terrain on the table if you add your other bits to it as well and then if you wanted to go for more of a uh, built up then just get the two sets I think uh, that would fill out the table very well but there's other mats that gamemat.eu do as well for city fight but just this one just has a grey background uh, to give you an example uh, of how uh, the ruins look but as I said what you've got here you've got your mat you roll it out you've got your set uh, of ruins here, you put them on the table and then you're ready for a game straight away and uh, the effect does look pretty good. So that's the Gothic Ruins set there by GameMat.eu, so they've done battle mats and now uh, this is some of their terrain that is available from them as well. So check out their website GameMat.eu, uh, but that is the review for the Gothic Ruins set. Thanks for watching and tune in next time.